Hey, this is Trip Hudgens. These are first thoughts. The sun is coming up. That's beautiful. The coffee. The coffee's very good. That is also beautiful. I'm doing this thing lately about I'm thinking about beautiful. What is beautiful? And of course that means you get stuck in talking about culture and context and taste and style and it's some crazy. There's even a lot of talk about emotionality. Because in one sense, beauty is a concept. It's a culturally driven, individually driven con concept. We construct beauty, right? And yet there's something very visceral about our connection to things that we think of as beautiful or, to the contrary, things we think of as ugly. Things that are ugly scare us. We fall in love with things that are beautiful. Emotions are part of this. It's just inescapable. I woke up this morning thinking about this stuff. I, I wake up. <laughs> this is why I don't post these very often. Like this is this is this is why. I want to do these almost every morning, but my brain is too much. The Benedictine Gift to Music is a beautiful book. I use that word on purpose. Huh? I'm sneaky. But what makes it beautiful? For me, it's. It's not the prose, so the prose is fine. So is it a beautiful book if the prose is only fine? Is it the subject matter? The subject matter for me is just great. The history is embarrassing. The history of the development of Western music all tied up and wrapped up in empire and church. Please don't blame the church for the state of music in the West. It's going to be tempting. It's going to be tempting. You're going to want to do it. Get this book. It's an older book. It's almost 20 years old. It's, it's fabulous about the spirituality behind music making in Europe, for the last, I don't know, well, during the Benedictine, if there's a Benedictine era, the Gregorian era, the development of Gregorian chant in the monasteries. There's some crazy, because, you know, these are a lot of people living alone, celibates, at least in name, celibates, and it's, it's going to be weird. But there's some really beautiful theology wrapped up in the creation of music. The tones, what they mean, what's going on. I find it beautiful. I've taught the book twice now. We need a new book about this stuff. There's some really great books on chant. I have most of them, I think. But I'm looking for an article, if you know this, if you know an article or an essay or another book on chant and world music. The whole concept of how we make meaning related to chant, and not so much in its imagined or well-researched historical context but in its present context as one of the many world musics think about those albums chant was an album that came out and people bought it and went platinum or some crazy like that how does music heal you how do you pray with it why do the sounds not the lyrics but the sounds matter to you and what makes it beautiful and if you know of a beautiful essay about a beautiful thing Please let me know. Um, I'm Trip Hudgens. These are first thoughts. I miss you guys. Let me know how it's going.